Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to tell you how you can play ARK with friends in 2022. This is the same process for pretty much every console and PC. So the first way you can play with your friends is to host a non-dedicated session. These servers are very small servers, the slots are very limited, you can't have that many people in. If you want the server to be private, so just you and your friends can join, obviously tick this. And if you want them to not be able to become admin, and want to set a password and the session name this is one way that they'll be able to find you if you're on pc or xbox or playstation remember what your session name is so if you press accept on a host authenticated session it will load you into your server that you're hosting on your console or pc then for your friend to join that they'll have to go and join arc non-dedicated arcs and they'll have to search your session name. That's one way of doing it. The other way they can do it is if they go on your profile on Xbox. I'm on PC, but you know, if you're on an Xbox, you know how to use an Xbox. If you're on PC and you're in the game, you can go in here on their profile, more invite to game or join game. If you're on Xbox, obviously, you can invite them to the game. If they're on PC, look up on the notifications with an invite to join the game. That's it, you can do that even if it's on a private session. And then the next way to play with your friends or not would just be to join the same official server. So obviously, every server on official is numbered. Say I want to play, I don't know, server 290 with my friends. You go. You both put 290 in the name filter, make sure it's the same one, and then join. And yeah, if your friends have the Microsoft Store version of the game on their PC, they can play crossplay of Xbox players. That's the only way to do it. For console oh, and PC, there's another way you can do it as well. If you want to dedicate your PC or a spare console, you can run dedicated session which is kind of similar, except there's no host barrier, as there is with the non-dedicated session. With the host barrier though, on if you're playing on Steam, you can change that in the settings. You can basically remove it if you put it at like an infinite distance. However, on console, you can't change that. But yeah, if you host on de dedicated session, you can also get your friends to play on your single player world. It's the exact same world, except and this way makes it multiplayer, this way makes it single player so no one can join. But yeah, with a dedicated server, you have to commit and dedicate a console or a PC to hosting that server. So you can only run one server, maybe on PC is a way to run more than one, but you'd have to open ARC multiple times somehow. And yeah, that's one of the ways to to play with your friends. Another popular way is to play an unofficial server. So unofficial PC sessions. And these are servers that are hosted by a hosting company, basically. You see, these ones are quite popular, 70 out of 70. So you could join the same one of these. Or if you want to be able to play on the same server together without a bunch of other people and you don't want any barriers or anything like that then you'll need to go to a hosting company and buy hosting from ARC. if you're on steam i suggest this one this is the cheapest and best one you can get two dollars per month or three dollars per month for a slightly better machine so it runs a bit smoother and stuff obviously having ssd storage over hdds big difference but it has auto mod manager and everything like that if you want to have mods on your server which is great However, if you are on console, the only one that works for console is Nitrado. As you can see, PC, Xbox, PlayStation, mobile. And it's quite pricey. Even on mobile, 12 slots is $16 a month. But if you're buying Xbox, you have to do it on your Xbox, unfortunately. Or in the Windows 10 app. But yeah, it's really pricey this one, but it's the only one that actually works 
on consoles. But if you're not on console, you don't have to go with them. You can go with the other one I showed you. The link will, for both of these will be in the description. Yeah, the first one, Lixano, definitely better for PC. Now, if we go back to Ark here, we'll show you how to play with your friends on Steam. So on Steam, it's a slightly different process. You can, you can do the same thing I showed you earlier by adding a friend and then obviously inviting them on their Steam profile. If you don't know how to add a friend, just go here, friends, and you just add someone, obviously. Your friend code, quick invite, that's my friend code if you want to add me. So to join an unofficial server on Steam, or just any type of server, to come here to view and servers, come here to favorites, then add a server and you put the IP of the server you want to join in here. Like wherever you get the IP from, like Discord, online, whatever, from your friend. Put that in there, add it to your favorites, and then when you go on Arc on Steam, join Arc, session filter favorites, and then as well as all the servers you've previously played, it'll come up with the one you've just added as well. So you'll be able to check on here as well, on this menu, what servers are on, what the players are on, etc. All the servers that are not responding, you either put the IP in wrong, it's no longer online, or you know, it's just, it just doesn't exist anymore. Okay, and the last thing to play with friends is the arc settings. I won't work over it here, because that's a whole nother thing, but... Some settings you might want on are notify player left, notify player joined. You'll be able to see if your friend joins the server at the top of your screen. Uh, you got global voice chat or proximity voice chat, or text chat even. So it's basically just means people who are in the game can hear you from anywhere. By default, they have to be close to you to hear you. And by default, people can read your text from anywhere. If you put this on, they can read your text from close. And then show map player location. This is good if you want to be able to tell your friends where you actually are on the map. Obviously, if you're on a non-dedicated session, this doesn't matter because it tells you where the host is anyway. And yeah, that's about it for how to play with your friends. If you want any more tutorials, let me know. And yeah, subscribe.